Merhaba, kamera arkasında en filmleri incelemeye devam ediyoruz. 3 Oscar ödüllü Oliver Stone, 21. yüzyılın en kutuplaştırıcı figürlerinden birine, Amerikan istihbarat tarihinin en geniş kapsamlı güvenlik ihlalinin sorumlusu olarak bilinen Edward Snowden'ın hikayesine Snowden filmiyle sürükleyici bir bakış sunuyor. Edward Snowden, internetin hudutsuz dünyasında hükümetler için gizli hesap diye bir şeyin olmadığını ve tüm bunların gizli kanunlarla yasallaştırıldığını 2013 yılı Haziran ayında tüm dünyaya duyurduğu gün Amerikan tarihinin gördüğü en büyük vatan haini ilan edilirken aynı zamanda da bir kahramana dönüştü. Üzerine kitaplar yazılan, belgeseli Oscar ödülü kazanan Edward Snowden'ın gerçek hikayesi bu kez Oliver Stone yönetmenliğinde Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Shailene Woodley, Melissa Leo, Nicholas Cage, Zachary Quinto, Tom Wilkinson'ın bulunduğu ödüllü oyuncu kadrosuyla karşımıza çıkıyor. Şimdi filmi oyuncularından ve yönetmenliğinden dinliyoruz. I'm 29 years old. I work as a private contractor for the NSA, for the CIA. I've worked in various jobs in the intelligence industry for the last nine years. How about we just start with your name? My name is Edward Joseph Snowden. Snowden brought attention to the mass eavesdropping in the United States and on the entire world. I've always found it really moving when a film can make me feel more knowledgeable feel more connected and all of his films do that sometimes the more you look the less you see i was after a story that would reflect the, the reality of what was his life like what is it about this job that makes it more important than your life it's not just your average drama it's an oliver stone movie you have no idea what it's like to be accountable for other people's lives we start just about 10 years before Edward Snowden did his disclosures. He was enlisted in the U.S. Army. You wanted to be special forces? Yes, sir. Why do you want to join the CIA? I'd like to help my country make a difference in the world. This is a guy who was raised by people who worked for the government, people who were very allegiant to the government. He was far more respected than what the media gave a first impression of him. He had special accesses and he had privileges because he was smart. That's why because he was good at what he did. How is this all possible? <laughs> Instead of searching only what people make public, we're also looking at everything they don't. Emails, chats, SMS, whatever. He finds it disconcerting that a lot of these intelligence agencies are breaking some of the most fundamental principles of what our country stands for. Rich people. The whole kingdom is not white. I believe that we're telling the story of his evolution. I admire Snowden at the age of 30 having a conscience and being able to go out there and, and do something that jeopardized his own career and where he has to give up his own happiness. Are you going away? And it's about someone saying, can I live with myself if I'm going to work every day and doing things that go against my principles? They could break through that door any minute, ending all of this. We are running out of time. The story needs a filmmaker who was willing to tell the truth and allow the audience to create their own opinion. No more war! No more war! One of the first things that I really saw in Oliver was that he dives deep into these characters. He does his research on who they are. I took Joe over to Moscow and he met Mr. Stone. I think Joe deeply admired him, so I think he carried that into his performance. The personal journey that he goes on from being someone who isn't willing to ask those questions to someone who is, is intrinsically tied to his relationship with Lindsay. I don't want anyone else. Shailene brought a tremendous humanity to the role. She was the life of the party, and she really brought warmth and light to it. It's live. Snowden has been charged with espionage. Oliver, in his body of work, has done a fantastic job of demonstrating what he loves about the United States of America, why he cares so much to raise his hand and raise his voice. And they're going to come for me. And now that we've made contact, they're going to come for all of you, too. I'm just trying to do what appeals to my conscience and my passion. And the people can decide either I'm wrong or there's something going on inside the government that's really wrong. Başka bir filmin yapım aşamasını anlattığımız kamera arkasında tekrar görüşmek üzere. Hoşça kalın.